Yes. Uh, my name is Lingam and I'm now 64 years old. I used to lead a pretty active lifestyle, golfing every week and enjoyed maintaining my garden of various plants and veggies. Uh, probably in my last life, I was a farmer. <laughs> my medical and physical difficulties all began when I was hospitalized for, for a stroke in 2020. My life was saved by the good doctors despite multiple complications. I regained consciousness after five days, but was somewhat in a sedated state. I was told that my right brain was adversely affected and would have a long road ahead to recovery through a multimodality treatment of medication, physiotherapy, speech therapy, and occupational therapy. I had immense pain at my left kidney region and was told that my left kidney had been embolized. Embolized meaning uh, it's been cut off, not, not physically cut off, but sealed due to a due to three hematomas that was caused during my fall on the night of my stroke. The excruciating pain did not cease for eight months. Uh, that was terrible. Meanwhile, I was dependent on blood thinner as the doctors did not recommend a neurosurgery to correct a narrow blood, blood vessel in my head due to complications that had occurred. I had the good fortune of having a personal physiotherapist who attended to me from sunrise to sunset. About one year down the road, the doctor announced that scans revealed that my left kidney was functioning normal and I was progressively, progressively discharged from the various specialist checkups. That was the day of my awakening that my body was capable of self-healing. How did my kidney survive for one year without blood flow? The good doctor explained that new blood vessels had grown into my, my kidney to supply blood. To it, despite the main artery being sealed. It dawned on me that the proper intake of the right food, good sleep and constant exercise by my body was regenerating and regrowing. I had three main deficiency, deficiencies at this stage. Do you notice my difficulty in speaking? I was not able to speak more than two words in sequence. My brain was lethargic, unable to allow me to communicate spontaneously. I lack energy or strength despite walking miles daily. I was just not progressing. My life was bleak and hopeless. Then bang! But right in front of me was my wife who told me that she had recovered from her shoulder pain. I seized the moment by requesting her to give me the patch that worked well on her. She, was, she had been using a sort of a strange looking patch and I never bothered to ask her about it at all because I had my own troubles and I was busy uh, doing physiotherapy and exercising and walking and walking in circles around the lake and, you know, so I never actually questioned her about it. But the moment that she said that she had healed by just using a, 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 a simple looking plastic patch, I took notice of it and I said, let me have it. I will want to use it. And that put fear in her because I, I, she preferred that doctors be uh, consulted before I start using them because I'm a stroke patient, you see. I'm a <laughs> she didn't want to put me into trouble. I seized the moment by requesting her to give me the patch and I worked well on her. She hesitating, hesitatingly affixed the patch at my GV14 as doctors had not been consulted. The rest is history. By the first night using X39, I was confident that my incontinence had been resolved. Though I looked as though that I had recovered, I had a lot of things not working well inside me. One was it was it was incontinence. I had to wake up at least twice or three tries a night and go into the bathroom and come back, you know, and I'll feel very groggy. Uh, and, you know, stumble into the bathroom and stumble out of the bathroom. Uh, when when I did not have to wake up the first time when I used the X39, that made a great impact on me. It, it, it just told me that, that, you know, incontinence is nothing. I had been going for, for, for physiotherapy to settle my incontinence problem for about uh, probably two and a half months earlier. 
it has always been there and it was not reducing at all. And here was a patch that I used just for eight hours and it solved my incontinence immediately. Uh, so I found it very, very uh, impactful. But the first night of using it, I was like, oh, this must be really good. And by the third day, I realized that my postural hypotension had subsided. Postural hypotension is when, you know, when I lower my head I, I, and I raise my head quickly, I become dizzy. And I could faint. And doctors warned me not to do that because if I faint, I can have another stroke. So though I looked as though I'm normal and uh, healthy, I was a walking time bomb. Uh, so, you know, it subsided in the third day. There was no dizziness after lowering my head. By the fifth day of use, my energy levels were expanding beyond my imagination. I spent three hours under the hot sun, hot afternoon sun, working on my short game in the practice green and colorful mind, GCC. It took me more than 2.5 years of pain and torment to find life wave. I wish that I had found it sooner. Thank you. Wow, thank you for your amazing sharing. Uh, now you can see you uh, driving the ball. Finally, he's done with us. Finally, he's yeah. Done. Going back to your uh, love, your first love. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Mr. Lingam, I have questions for you. Okay, oh, yeah. now how do you feel and your journey on to recovery mm -hmm. uh, has taken uh, you... A very short time i understand yeah so how do you feel uh when you first use the x uh 39 well i realize it is happening too soon uh what is happening to me might not be happening to any other person uh, i'm getting a lot of relief because of my heavy physiotherapy and uh, uh, physical activities all through the time the, in the past three years so i I believe that X39 found me as a good candidate to relieve me of all my past pains because I've been paying, paying <laughs> a, a, a hard labor for it. I see. So uh, besides the X39, did you use any other patches? Uh, well, you know, by the fifth day, I was so, so amazed that I, I actually overstayed my my time in the practice screen and you know i knew that the next day i would be tired i expected myself to be tired in the morning the next day and true enough when i came down for breakfast and while having breakfast i mentioned to my wife that i have a slight pain in the neck and she just turned around and uh, opened the cabinet and came in with another patch and placed it on my neck where the pain was. <laughs> I didn't even okay. ask her what pain, what patch that was. Later I realized that was an Aeon patch. Ah, and the I amazing see. thing is that by the time I finished my breakfast, I had no more pain. I was free of pain in the neck. I see, I see. Amazing. Okay, yeah. so there is a question uh, in the chat room by Sa Era again. She wants mm -hmm. to know uh, what patches you use to recover or heal from your stroke or that has helped you in your stroke. Well, uh, the stroke, uh, actually, the uh, Pantai Hospital treated, treated me uh, with a mecha mechanical thrombectomy. Uh, Mechanical thrombectomy is a very, I, I, I believe you go into uh, my blood vessels and arteries and all that and, and uh, uh, suck, you know, suck out all the blood clots in my system. And that actually had a very good, very good effect uh, in the sense that I was not paralyzed uh, fully. I was okay. still mobile. Yes, Mr. Lingam. Okay. Um, besides the thrombectomy, what patches do you use? I understand you use the X39. Were there any other patches that you use? I use the X39 and Aeon. I see. Okay, okay. 
Very good. Amazing. Thank you. Congratulations, Mr. Lingam. Thank you for your amazing sharing again. Thank yeah. you for your invite. So,